Oh, hello, hello, Anton. Uh, hello, all. Uh, thanks for uh, joining our session. Uh, how can uh, we do content campaigns better? Um, this is Anton, uh, who is unfortunately in Ukraine because um, he wasn't able to uh, come here in person. And uh, I'm Renvoy. I'm also Ukrainian, admin of Ukrainian Wikipedia and a uh, member of Wikimedia Ukraine, former contractor for Wikimedia Ukraine. Uh, so yeah, we'll do this uh, presentation together. And uh, yeah, Anton, I think you can, you can slowly start. Okay, uh, what is the procedure with slides? I will humor it, move them. Uh, yes, I can move them. But uh, okay. can, can, you, can you make the slides here, please, visible? Can you see the slides, Anton, by any chance? I can see the slides. Okay. Can people in the room see them? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, okay, so next slide, please. Yes, so uh, Valentin has uh, already introduced uh, himself uh, and me. I'm, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm happy that I can present even if uh, virtually. And uh, today we will talk a bit about uh, about campaigns on Wikimedia, how we can make them better and how we can how we can be, be more strategic in, uh, in choosing what campaigns to organize. Next slide, please. Uh, so we, our plan for today uh, is to discuss two questions. Uh, the first one is how we can be more strategic in choosing which content campaigns to organize. And we will share, uh, I will share the Wikimedia Ukraine's experience and then we'll uh, invite uh, participants to, to share your experience. Uh, I think people who are joining online can write in the chat and people in the room will be uh, obviously able to see. And then the next question uh, is how we can raise the quality for the content for articles, photos, etc., produced within a campaign. Valentin will share his reflections uh, and, and his experience uh, as an organizer. And then we will again discuss and, uh, um, and, and you will be able to share your experience. And then we will have time for, uh, for some next steps. It's a bit hard to present a hybrid session with one person in the room and one virtually. So I hope everything will go smoothly. Uh, and, uh, and let's go ahead. Next slide, please. Yes. Uh, so before we begin, uh, just like brief definition, brief in context on what even is a campaign, just so we are on the same page. So campaigns uh, are, uh, according to the formal definition I quoted from Meta, uh, campaigns summon contributors and focus them on a topic or means of contribution for a window of time. So these are context uh, contest challenges such as uh, the East Spring, uh, those uh, in, the, in the Central and Eastern Europe region uh, well know it. Wikipedia Asian Months, uh, photo contests like Wikivals Monuments and Wikivals Earth, One Lib One Ref, uh, Art and Feminism, and so on. Uh, campaigns have different media and format types, right? So some campaigns can be devoted to creating and improving Wikipedia articles, some to uploading photos, to improving Wikidata items, to reading books on wiki source uh, and uh, so on. Uh, but uh, generally we have, at least within Wikimedia Ukraine, we have a distinction between uh, contests, which are large scale campaigns uh, where we invest much more resources in organizing them, where contributions typically get checked by a jury panel and so on. And then we have challenges, uh, which are smaller and quicker, more agile campaigns. Uh, that have maybe less impact, but also require uh, less resource. Uh, if we go to the next slide, please. Uh, the first question I wanted to discuss uh, and first start with presenting our experience is uh, choosing what to organize. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, to give you a, a bit of brief background on uh, Wikimedia Ukraine's experience, right? Let's start uh, just to with a quick overview of what campaigns Wikimedia Ukraine organizes. So we do dozens of campaigns every year and uh, maybe the most 
the best known are uh, the best known ones are big photo contests like Wikilos monuments, Wikilos Earth. Uh, so we we have one of the biggest Wikilos monuments local competitions. We are supporting Wikilos Earth on the international level, doing our own local contest. So this uh, is a big part of what we do. We are also organizing big article contests uh, and campaigns such as Wikigap, say Spring, and so on. Uh, we are trying to join international campaigns uh, at a smaller scale. Uh, so, for example, Wikilos, uh, so for example, Wiki for Human Rights, uh, for example, uh, every book its reader, and so on. Uh, and then we are supporting community initiated thematic books, uh, such as uh, challenges on Wikipedia, every, on everything from medicine to sci fi literature, whatever community members are interested in uh, organizing, uh, proofreading events on Wikisource, uh, and, uh, and so on. Next slide, please. Uh, here's an example of one of our biggest uh, projects, one of our biggest campaigns, Wikilos Monuments uh, in Ukraine. This is the award, award ceremony we held earlier this year in Kyiv, and these are just the people who made it in person to an award ceremony in Kyiv. So this contest has quite a, a big community around it, uh, and, uh, and and we, we are happy that that our campaigns help help drive contributors. Together, but uh, next slide, please. Uh, but 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 going to the to the heart of the question I am speaking about today, uh, how how do we choose what campaigns to organize now? Now that we are planning our activities and uh, our activities for the next year for the years to come, how do we choose uh, what campaigns to organize? Uh, and often it is a bit of inertia, to be honest, right? It is often we do a campaign. Uh, because we have done it previously and there is a group of stakeholders expecting us to do it again so most notably these are regular participants uh, people who have who are partic participating in a contest a campaign uh, every year but these are also community members community organizers these are uh, these are uh, partners uh, external partners and so on so for example we have organized uh, CE Spring, uh, the article contest every year since 2015, and Wikigap uh, every year since 2018, even for Wikigap after uh, international organizers uh, scaled back uh, their support. We did miss one year in 2022 as the beginning of the full scale invasion of Ukraine by Russia, but we then went back uh, and, and continued to organize this contest. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, when we are starting new campaigns, uh, there are often three main sources how we make decisions whether or not to organize them. Uh, the first big source is joining international campaigns. So most, listened, most recently, we joined uh, One Libre One Ref uh, in 2021. We joined Wikilos Folk War and uh, Every Book Its Reader in 2023. Uh, so uh, international campaigns are a good framework uh, framework to join. Uh, we are often uh, also addressing an external partner request. So when we have interest from an external partner to uh, to to improve the coverage of some topic on Wikipedia or other Wikimedia sources, uh, often doing a camp content campaign for the community is the best format. Uh, the best format because we obviously cannot hire a team of paid editors to improve a topic. Uh, so so organizing a camp campaign on the topic is is often the best form. And we did it, for example, with the Ukrainian Institute for Ukraine's Cultural Diplomacy Month, which Valentin, uh, which Valentin has a lot for the past three years, and which uh, I think he will tell you more about uh, in, in a couple of minutes. We organized some thematic weeks on Wikipedia with uh, government agencies. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so here is an example uh, imaging for a campaign which we organized with the uh, Ukrainian Institute of National Memory, uh, not to be confused with the Ukrainian Institute, which is a different uh, agency. Uh, th th this Ukrainian Institute of National Memory uh, is uh, sort of a history-focused, national memory-focused government agency, and we did uh, we did a, an article campaign uh, with them for the community about uh, about the history of independent Ukraine, so the history of Ukraine since. 1991, uh, and it, it was a productive and fruitful campaign. And then the third source of campaigns 
uh, of new content for us uh, is uh, supporting initiatives from community members. So community members, uh, if they want to organize uh, uh, a thematic week, a thematic challenge, they can apply for support from Wikimedia Ukraine and we can we can offer financial support, we can offer uh, to, to have this expertise with, with our time and, and resources. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, this approach is helpful, right? So, so relying on this pra practice has worked uh, well for us so far, but there is there is a problem with this approach, and, and namely is that we are not being strategic enough. We are often not being strategic enough in uh, where we put our resources. Uh, there is only so much resources in in this world and in the Wikimedia movement, and here I mean both money and uh, other stuff like community attention, uh, which is a big resource, organizer time, and so on. So with, with the work where there is only so much resources, we need to spend these resources where there is most impact. So to help improve coverage of topics that volunteers are less likely to tackle on their own, to tackle, less likely to tackle uh, outside the context, the context of uh, our campaigns. Uh, in other words, uh, we need to really live up to the movement strategy recommendation to identify topics for uh, which we are trying to do, but but uh, but uh, but but as we, with every idea, it's something we are striving to do, but but not succeeding 100% uh, uh, every time. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so we are trying to be more strategic in what campaigns we are organizing. Uh, and it is hard to stop doing uh, well liked and popular contest, contest uh, campaigns in the community, but at least we can shift resources. Uh, and a good example here is CE Spring. Uh, CE Spring uh, has been a great campaign for Ukrainian Wikipedia that became a victim of its success in a way because uh, it has attracted so many, so much attention, so many articles in Ukrainian Wikipedia that it's become hard to. It's become hard to, to to check them, and it's become it, it's become uh, one of our biggest uh, projects. And at the same time, the coverage of these topics has uh, improved thanks to this contest uh, over the eight or nine years we have organized it. Uh, and we are not ready to stop doing the spring, but what we have done uh, is first we we've, uh, we've decided to reduce the resources we spent on this specific campaign uh, in favor of some others uh, resources in terms of community's attention. So we shortened the contest from from two and a half months to one month only. And we also reduced its budget in terms of the finances we spent on the contest. And, and we've also shifted thematic focus. So since uh, many of the CE countries have been well covered over the past uh, eight or nine years within the contest, we uh, last year we shifted uh, the focus for this contest uh, contest from uh, the CE region to the whole Europe to the countries of the Council uh, of Europe. Uh, and next slide, please. Uh, and, and and another way in which we are trying to be more strategic strategic is to uh, identify the most impactful topics, right? Identify topics for impact, which the movement strategy uh, calls for, and designing campaigns specifically to address them. Uh, so in 2024, we have two examples to, to speak of. Uh, we, we are organizing an article contest on Ukrainian Tatar Wikipedia. The Ukrainian Tatars are an ethnic minority in Ukraine, which, uh, which uh, has the language that has its Wikipedia edition, but which is relatively underdeveloped compared to Ukrainian Wikipedia, for example. We have done uh, we have done a contest uh, to, we have done a contest to try and uh, to, to try and uh, push forward this uh, this language edition on Wikipedia, and we will uh, we will talk more about the results at the meeting when we have them. And another topic is uh, improving most popular articles on Ukrainian Wikipedia with a special uh, thematic months. Uh, improving articles is uh, often less popular a task among volunteers because it is more fun to create new articles, uh, especially on Ukrainian Wikipedia, which is relatively large, but also not that large. There are still topics you can create new articles about. 
So we are trying to incentivize using our campaigns to incentivize uh, the improvement of existing articles, which are most important and most popular. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, here is an example of uh, of a meeting we did uh, to Crimean Tatar Wikipedia a marathon meeting in Lviv, like, uh, like in, in actual Lviv, not the room we are speaking uh, right now. Uh, and it has been a successful campaign, I think, uh, so far. Uh, but now I would like to go to the discussion and ask you to share your uh, experience. Next slide, please. Yes, thank you. Uh, so I would like to ask people uh, in the room, uh, and maybe uh, also there will be some people in the chat on event A that will be monitoring it as well. Uh, which campaigns do you organize in your community and how do you choose uh, to organize them? Maybe we don't have time for a full list, but you can give an example. So here's uh, a campaign we organized and here's how we have decided whether to do it. So maybe people can share their experience. Yeah, thoughts from the audience? Because it's, it's really a session that we uh, like to hear from you uh, more than anything. Well, in, at Wikimedia New York City, we haven't, as far as I can recall, we really haven't done photo contests in a long time, years. But we've mainly done targeted edit-a-thons. I've participated in a couple at the New York City Botanical Garden Library where we focused on plant topics. And because the, and as to the second question, how do you choose whether to organize them? The Botanical Garden Library has been a very, very wonderful partner. That's why we do it. Thank you, that's really interesting. Thank you for um, your presentation. It was very insightful. For instance, uh, in Armenia, we are organizing almost everything you mentioned in your um, slides, uh, but also we organize some editathons uh, based on um, events, activities that uh, happen that year. For instance, if it's uh, Euro 2024, we're organizing something like that because and people are interested in it, they are looking for articles, so if there is a content gap, we uh, try to fill the ga gap. Also, for instance, we uh, have been organizing a financial economic wiki month, a campaign on financial economic uh, articles. Uh, we have this gap, and um, as the Central Bank of Armenia uh, decided to um, or uh, collaborate with us on this topic. Um, it's uh, it has become an annual one, uh, and this is go, uh, quite popular in our country uh, because the financial economic uh, gap in Armenian Wikipedia was a huge one. So now we have been doing this for five years, and uh, I believe it helped a lot to improve the content. So. Um, Usually we do it based on events, activities, as I mentioned, and uh, whether there is an interest uh, in a specific topic or a content gap. Thank you. Thank you. Should we move to the second uh, question, Anton? Yes, so, sorry, uh, I don't see the room, so uh, I don't see whether there are more yeah. comments or not. Yeah. Sorry, I was hiding in the shadow back there. Um, Larissa, uh, I'm from Sweden and um, I work at the museum, a county museum. And uh, during my first year there, we tried to engage a bit more, for example, with Wikimedia Sweden and try to um, just like really targeted market uh, Wikilove's monuments in our county. However, as Wikimedia is a word that like many people can't really relate to, it made that kind of easy, uh, like very hard, even for people who are interested in the topics that Wiki Loves Monument is about. So what we chose to work uh, deeper with has been like engaging with the local uh, other organizations focused on heritage. So for example, the local history organizations and local heritage organizations, which is a huge network of really small associations um, on a local level and the local or the regional library organization and trying to actually see monuments as a really like broad topic that is all also like um, mirrored in literature uh, and trying to engage older people in that. And that has helped kind of uh, to actually go to the people where they already are, uh, although they might not even be interested in or never have heard about editing Wikide Wikipedia or taking images for Wikimedia Commons. 
one of the biggest issues has actually been trying to like make people understand how commons works and how <laughs> uploading to commons works. <laughs> that is kind of a huge bottleneck for us. Um, and it's, it's kind of sad because I think uh, that, um, I mean, we always say like everyone should be able to edit Wikipedia and um, we all know that that is not really working as well, but Commons has like <laughs> an even, <laughs> that's a really big barrier <laughs> uh, compared with Wikipedia. And I think that is also a big issue for all those photo contests. Sorry for taking so much time. That's really interesting. Thank you first for sharing. I think we can move to the second question, uh, yes. right? Yes. Uh, and uh, uh, the second question is, do you have experience making conscious decision to stop organizing campaign. So you've done something previously, but then you maybe decided not to do it. And uh, and how have you made this decision? Was it a conscious decision or was it really just that, that this campaign petered out because of the lack of resources? Um, I I'm sorry that I'm talking too much today. Um, this year, for instance, we uh, made a decision to stop doing the uh, Museums Month, which we usually did uh, during the International Museum uh, Day, before the International Museum Day in May, uh, because um, during this period, the sea spring is going, and um, uh, our financial economic Wiki Month is also at the same time. So all uh, these overlapping um, campaigns uh, made v uh, the participants very confused. They didn't know either to participate in the Sea Spring or the International uh, Museums Month or the Financial Economic uh, Wiki Month. Uh, so based on the uh, interest, we decided to not do the museums campaign because the most interest went to the Sea Spring and the Financial Economic Wiki Month. So we made the decision to stop it for this year. Um, we'll see for the next year whether we'll do it all or um, stop it doing uh, at all. Okay, we have one more, maybe. Yeah, boys. Thanks. Um, in Germany, we didn't have to, uh, to take this decision. Um, we started with Wikilove's monuments, then we added Wikilove's Earth, and this year we added Wikilove's folklore um, to our uh, portfolio. And um, it was uh, every content was a great, uh, every competition was a great success. And um, our contributors, um, looking forward for for the next year, they collect their pictures, and um, so we we sh we couldn't we couldn't stop uh, any any competition, and um, we don't want to do it. Yeah, and the and the problem you mentioned was advertising different campaigns at the same time. Yeah, we also experienced this that, for example, Wiki Loves Earth in last year was at partly at the same time as this museum competition, and because of the two butter campaigns, uh, yeah, both sides only got half of the of page views, and that maybe decreased the number of comp of contributors dramatically, so that w would be one point that we might need to somehow yeah, better coordinate in which time which contest is advertised and when the contests are held. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, should we move to the second question or are there more? Uh, comments? Just one more, please. Uh, okay. <coughs> Hi, my name is Carla. I am from Bolivia and uh, we are uh, deciding if we are uh, <coughs> doing Wiki Loves Monuments this year because we had an overwhelming quantity of photos from one city in the past, and we really don't need more photos of that city. So I, we don't know if we should ban the city for, <laughs> <laughs> for the contest. And uh, I know <laughs> it's like different for <coughs> a lot of other countries, but we, we have this, this issue right now. <laughs> Okay, thanks. Thanks for all your insights. Uh, yeah, maybe yeah, we would uh, slowly move to the second second part of the presentation that would be presented by me. Uh, yeah, it's raising quality bar of generally of the editing contests and contributions by editors, because uh, in my opinion, 
There is absolutely no excuse for bad quality articles, especially in those campaigns and um, generally like in uh, big editathons as general. Uh, yeah, just quality is like, I've been engaged in many uh, discussions on this matter and for some it may be very obvious like how quality cannot be like good in articles. But for some people it's, it's not that obvious as, it's, as it seems the first time. So, uh, yeah, like we are already one of the biggest encyclopedia, uh, maybe the biggest encyclopedia in many languages in the world. And uh, quality for us is uh, one of the crucial, most crucial issues. Um, yeah, like right now with the machine um, translating tools, Deeple, browser extensions, you can access machine translated articles anyway. So there is really no need to just really post them. Um, what like I really get uh, argument uh, a lot of time is but article will not exist but uh, I answer but reputation will also exist <laughs> yeah so um, uh, yeah that's that's kind of some of the issues that uh, have been raised and unfortunately there is sometimes there is seem not not like been great response to that uh, yeah I would also just make a public statement I'm not addressing it to anyone but just do not expect uh, that someone will correct your article if you write something right as as, as it should be, sort of. Um, yeah, like, uh, in especially in CE region, I noticed uh, recently that there is a very interesting trend. Uh, we all regard uh, ourselves as a sort of rivals. And uh, this, uh, this template is one of the most in like popular templates in Ukrainian Wikipedia that shows like races of Wikipedia, that there is race like we are competing with language editions of uh, other languages. So we're not like cooperating with each other, but we are competing and we must like beat them by the number of articles. If we would not do that, I know what will happen. Like this is some, some, and uh, yeah, my hot take is that it must slowly, slowly end, uh, especially in our region, because uh, we would, we would need to make quality our best priority. Um, yeah, I was, uh, I will also make a public statement to uh, revive association of Wikipedians who dislike making broad judgments about the worthiness of general category of article who are in favor of deleting of some articles, particularly bad ones, but they don't mean that I'm a deletionist. I delete all articles, but I'm not deletionist. I just think quality is very important issue. So, um, uh, yeah, uh, on a serious note, uh, I've been managing the uh, Ukrainian Cultural Diplomacy Month for the uh, last three years, and um, uh, this year we made really big um, progress and point on improving articles. Uh, from last year, uh, there is like big, big spike. Like last year, we have like 80 improved articles. This year, you see 400, which is good, but still uh, people really, really like to make new articles, which I also like, but uh, how do we make this like, uh, m like uh, very, um, make motivation for editors to do that? Uh, we made it by um, adding more points, uh, making special prizes for people who uh, improve articles but not write new, also make rigorous um, assessment of what's been done, and if we had one instance where a uh, whole uh, editor was disqualified of because uh, these articles were some of the bad ones, and we really, really pay attention to those such complaints. Uh, so, um, yeah, really, uh, in the last 10 minutes, I would like to hear your thoughts. Uh, how are you thinking it's, uh, how are you ensuring the quality of contributions in campaigns? Is it some gamification thing? Is it, is it something that you would like to, um, yeah, share with us right now? On the chat, maybe someone will say something. Oh. I think it's always something that. Uh, we feel a lot of resp responsibility for, like not putting um, the uh, responsibility on the volunteers because that's what happens if you just put it on the wikis and uh, don't take care of it yourself. 
So what we try to do is like uploading it together with the people that we engaged during the campaign, like especially if we had like editathons or something like that during the month. I'm talking mostly about Wikilove's monuments here. Um, and then trying to like look at the content that they upload before they do it. Um, but otherwise, I actually think that you are totally correct. Like the things that don't uh, live up to the standards that we have have to be deleted. Um, and I mean, that is that you might, I mean, it's difficult because you want to take a balanced approach to not like scare off all the people who might just have been becoming interested in staying on board. Um, but I mean, we don't, I mean, I think it also helps in some way, especially, I don't know uh, how it's in other communities, but I mean, in Europe, we're still battling, like there's nothing serious uh, on Wikipedia, uh, everything's wrong. And if everything is allowed to stay on, that kind of just um, mm, confirms that kind of, yeah, thing. Thanks. Yeah, thanks. Thanks very much. Yeah, really, uh, it's a it's, uh, number of articles with, that we all have on our uh, Wikipedias. If it's uh, like, it doesn't mean, um, like, ma matter is it million or is it 100,000? Like, what's important is what's behind those numbers, what articles and what quality. So, uh, yeah, well, I'm uh, really advocating for that one uh, across um, movement and across uh, Wikipedias. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, quite, it's quite hard to uh, make sure that quality is ensured, but, yeah, really not scare <laughs> people that uh, would like to, maybe they are just generally acting in good faith, but uh, are not, like, aware of some wishes and or some rules. Uh, but yeah, any other thoughts on quality uh, contributions and ensuring it? Yeah, for our wiki last contest and uh, some writing contest associated during the wiki last contest, we experienced that for our community, the quality inside of the contest is way better than the average quality. But maybe that's very special for our community. Mm. Okay. Because um, yeah, as other tool, as other campaigns on commons like these created with this ITA tool, they, for example, often have yeah these quality problems. Uh, in Chinese Wikipedia, we we are doing a uh, an annual article contest. In English, is called just as the campaign is underway now. And in the contest, we try to well, we have set rules to ensure every articles that is up submit and approve are uh, on par with those which can be uh, appearing at the DYK column on the main page. And we also have set rules to, to ban articles that are uh, results from plagiarism and maybe machine translations and maybe large language models. Yeah, thanks. Uh, yeah, really also like good and featured articles are a good thing to promote uh, quality in uh, our Wikipedia Santia. Yeah, that's one of the things with, that we should, I think, um, uh, assess more and like um, celebrate more, let's say. Uh, yeah, next next question, yeah, I would also like to hear your um, insight from, first of all, is, do we have uh, any qu comments on uh, Zoom or like uh, online? If, yeah, we have here, yeah, if not, it's, it's, it's okay. Yeah, by the way, it's yeah, very apt to be presenting like uh, this in Lviv uh, room and Lviv is my hometown. Uh, I didn't ask for this, it's just a very good coincidence. Uh, but yeah, the next um, question is, uh, is there really like, uh, what are the methods of uh, motivating editors to, to pay attention and like to improve articles? If it's again some, do you have some very cool gamification methods 
to try to do that uh, or any, any other thoughts on that matter? This just occurred to me when you asked, when you put that question up, but we ever thought of, is it possible maybe of if draft space exists on your Wikipedia of encouraging editors who aren't totally sure of themselves to start the article in draft space, you know, because that way they can make mistakes and fix them without feeling very, getting, feeling very awkward and self-conscious. Yeah, yeah, great. Um, in the German Wikipedia, we have uh, many events in libraries or GLAM. It means that we go to cultural heritage. And there, um, there are people, so we have, we are together, so we have e exchange men of a high quality. And also um, the curators turn us around and we have the literary, literary that we can use that also has a high quality. I think this is also important. So go, go to sources and people who can ensure uh, quite a good quality. Okay, that's yeah, good, good insight, really good insight. Yeah. Um, yeah. When I've done editathons, um, sometimes we'll have like experts in the room, like published authors on a subject that we're writing about, and they can kind of work with editors um, on the quality of content. Um, also, a couple of times we've done uh, prizes. So we say at the start of an event we're gonna have a prize for the best quality article of the, mm -hmm. the campaign or the, the event. Um, and that kind of encourages people to, to focus on quality rather than quantity. Any other questions or comments? Okay, we can, I think we can, if no comments, we can move to next steps, Anton, you can do it. Uh, yes, uh, so next slide, please. Uh, yes, so basically the next step is just a brief point. I was thinking that it might be useful to document best practices on this, like on, on how to make our campaigns better. Uh, first, I wanted to ask, does anyone know whether there is a good place on Meta to document best practices? Because experience shows that there is often there is often a good page on Meta, just is that no one can know where to find it. So, uh, so is there a place where we can document that? And uh, that, that's my first question. And the second point I want to make, if you would like to contribute to documenting best practices, perhaps we, we could do something together. I would invite you to reach out to me. My contacts are on the slide, and, and we can we can we can maybe do we can maybe do some. We can maybe do a diff post together, or or, or or we can find out a way to to document and share best practices around this. Okay. Any closing remarks on this matters of documenting everything? Yeah, we have hopefully notes from this session, so we already have some doc like notes. Uh, but uh, yeah, any anything to the wrap up. Anything online? I don't think so. No. All right. Yeah. So thanks, thanks everybody for coming. Yeah, we uh, we really, really uh, like we think it's it's very good uh, and matters and really important ones. <laughs> and yeah, I always uh, say that uh, we're not uh, writing encyclopedia for ourselves, for uh, just our amusement, for our curiosity, but we are writing encyclopedia for readers. And um, readers are really important uh, stakeholders and that allow us to exist. So uh, yeah, just uh, we should make good content for them and yeah, try, try to strive for the best. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>